Hello, I'm Aidan Bettine, and I'm the Community and Student Life Archivist at the University of Iowa Special Collections and Archives. I'm also one of the co-curators of We Are Hawkeyes, celebrating 175 years of student life at the University of Iowa. And I'm so excited to talk to you about a small part of the exhibit I've curated today, uh, which is the student publications. Um, and I'd like to highlight Chinook Winds, uh, which was a publication by an environmental organization called Free Environment, put out in the 1980s. Free Environment as a student organization on campus was also a nonprofit operating out of the Iowa Memorial Union Activity Center. And they cared about causes like uh, solar panels, uh, anti-nuclear war, vegetarian and meatless eating. Uh, you get a lot of uh, bicycle columns about the local shops um, and the, the local bicycle nonprofits in their publications. And they were pretty prolific throughout the 1970s, late 1970s and early 1980s. In the exhibit, we have a 1983 copy of Chinook Winds. Um, they changed the name of their publication from Free Environment News Briefs to Chinook Winds, which is a warm wind following winter. So Chinook Winds is a publication housed in our student-produced publications and newsletters collection. Um, and this collection is what's featured in the large display case behind me. Although the most famous student publication on campus is probably the Daily Iowan, uh, what the student-produced publications and newsletter collection shows us is the diversity of student voices and types of publications over these last 175 years, from humor magazines, literary journals, uh, and organization newsletters. Students have been exceedingly active on campus, publishing and writing um, what the causes that are most important to them and the topics that they care about.